Welcome back to Web Squadron. Okay, this one has cropped up on the Facebook Elementor group and I've seen it in forums as well. And yes, there are solutions for how to do this, but I wanna show you how we can do it completely free of any of our additional plugins within just Elementor. And not everyone's gonna like my solution, okay? Some people are gonna go, hmm, is that acceptable? But hey, I think it is totally fine. Hit me, punch me, do what you want with me, but I'm gonna show you how we are going to add a, like a proposal for a website or a contract of some sort onto Elemental, which is dead easy as a PDF. But then how can we provide a facility for someone to then sign that? Well, the signing bit I'm gonna do is a bit of a workaround, but trust me, just go with what I'm gonna do on this, okay? I'm Imran Sadiq, part of Web Squadron, and we're here to help you understand and get the most out of Elemental on WordPress to help you, your business, and your customers. Please like, subscribe and do follow us so you can keep up to date with all of the exciting things that we do and my crazy personality, which is so crazy it hurts me sometimes. Okay, so creating a website proposal is pretty, pretty simple. Okay, you could do it in many, many different platforms or whatever is your tool of choice. We're gonna use Word. We obviously will create it. This isn't an, an exact one, by the way, because I've had to hide some personal information on here for our company and whatnot. Okay, so let's say you got your web proposal, okay? Normally, what you're gonna do is you're gonna save this, right? And you're gonna save this as a PDF, okay? So let's just save this as a PDF. We're gonna call it proposal for now. And we are going to say export, okay? So that now has created my PDF that we're gonna stick onto our website. And again, this is dead easy to do, but just stay with me on this, okay? Right, so. But once we've done that, we are then gonna go over to WordPress and we are going to install that or add it to our media libraries. Let's go to media, okay, and we're gonna click add new, and we're gonna click select files, and we are now gonna to go to our desktop, 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 and there's the proposal. So let's just add that proposal in. So there's the PDF, okay? Nothing fancy going on here at the moment, right? Let's now just go to that PDF, okay? And at the moment, the PDF, does not have any password applied. Now, there are ways that you can do this um, using other bits of software or Word as well. I don't always recommend that you do this with your Word document, because sometimes if you forget your password on your Word document, your Word document is buggered. And yes, there are ways to hack into it and open up and unlock the Word document, but it's more hassle than it's worth. Okay, so but at the moment what we have is we have our proposal. But again, the point I wanna make is if I take this proposal, okay, and I just stick it into here, it's gonna open up. There is no password assigned to this proposal and there's always a danger with sticking on a contract for someone within your WordPress media library, right? Someone gets the address or someone's able to find it, they could open it up and see all the details. So what I recommend you do is rather than just installing or adding it to your media library as I did, what you wanna do is go to this web address here, adobe.com UK, well, it'll be something like that, Acrobat Online Password Protect. I'll put the link in the description, okay? I am not affiliated to Adobe. I make nothing of them. I think Adobe are great, but this is just a website they got, okay? And this is completely free as well, by the way, all right? Let's just enable the cookies. Yay, I love cookies. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so select a file. We're gonna pick our PDF and it will now create a password. Now, all these, what we're doing at the moment, I'm just gonna call this testing, okay? All right, and I would say that you're gonna create an individual password for each contract or whatever you have, um, and just make sure you set it accordingly and make sure your client knows it, make sure you know it, and just be very, very secure about how you save these things, okay? Right, so this has now created our document, and we're just gonna click download, and that's it. Right, it's created a document, it's stuck it in our downloads folder. We don't need to do anything more with that. Let's just come out of that. Let's go back to our media library. Okay, let's now add that file in. Add, select files. Now I'm gonna have to go back to my downloads. I should have done that in the first place. Right, so there we go. It's called password, it's called proposal protected at the moment, okay? Now, if I go into this document here and I pick up the address now, okay? And I go in and I say, okay, take me there. I get asked for the password. And it's not now gonna open unless I do <laughs> the right password. Did I spell it wrong then? 
There we go. And there you go. It's now going to open up. So there's a level, there's a way of adding a bit of protection to your PDFs. Okay. Now let's get on to the reason why you're watching this video. Okay. So we've got our document. Let me just go back a step. Uh, let me just make sure I've got the address. Just pick that up, copy it, because I just want to make sure I've got that. Right. We're now going to add that to a page. Let's go to pages. Okay. And I'm going to go to a page called columns because I was using that before. I have so many testing pages on this staging website. It's ridiculous. You know, the whole of the internet's going to come down because of me. Right. So we are going to add in a section. Okay. And this section is going to be a box and we're just going to make it a thousand and no gap. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a margin from the top about a hundred. Look, all right. Don't get, don't get stuck on what I'm doing here because you're obviously going to have a proper page with a proper layout. I'm just showing you how we're going to do what we're doing. I'm now going to add in some H. Well, obviously what you might first want to do is you might add in a header. So you might say contract and terms um, and you could even call it and payment as well. But I'm not going to I'm not going to get too bloated about that at the moment. OK, right. Let's just make that. Let's just make that to be about 20. There we go. Right. Let's get rid of that header. Right, so we still have a thousand pixel width, right? We're then going to add in the HTML widget, okay? Like so. And then we are going to type this. We are going to type im embed, 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 okay? We're then going to type source, okay? Like so. And we're going to say equals speech mark. And I'm going to paste in the link for the PDF, the protected one that we added to our media library. Remember, when you add an item, you'll have down in the right hand side, you'll have a box that says copy to clipboard. It's the URL for that media item. We then copy that in. Now, before I, um, yeah, and after the speech mark, I'm going to write uh, width equals, uh, let's set the width to be about 700. No, not the width, sorry, leave the width. We're going to set the height. The height equals um, 700, like so. And then I'm now going to put the greater than sign to basically close off this embed. So the source is that file and the height is 700 pixels. Can you see now we have a 700 pixel height item? If you feel that's too high, drop it down to 600. If you think that's too high, drop it down to 100. OK, go for what you want to go for. I'm just going to go for let's do 600 for now. OK, and then at the end here, after you've closed off that embed, right, you're then going to do, well, you haven't actually fully closed it off. You just have to do um, forward slash embed again. And that is now done. You might get this um, issue pop up here, but ignore that. Don't worry about that. Right. OK, cool. So if we now preview this page, right, we get an embedded PDF. We're not using any extra plug in here. Just a bit of HTML. It's really simple. And if I now, while I'm on this page, type in the password correctly, look, let me move myself out the way here. I get, look, here's, here's my scroll bar for my page. But look, I get a scrollable embedded item within the page now for the contract. How cool is that? Yeah. Right. So what you could then do is once you've done that, OK, you could now if you want, let's just close that. OK. You could pick up this entire bit of code if you so want, OK? And rather than having it just showing like that on the page, I'm actually going to go over here and I'm going to pick toggle. So I'm just going to drop toggle and I'm just going to drop it in over here at the moment. And in toggle one, I'm going to call this website proposal and we'll just put the date uh, 6th of August. 6th of August 2021, right? Now, inside of here, in the visual bit, I'm going to get rid of the visual item, go over to text, and I'm now going to paste in my text that I had that I was testing with the HTML. And I was just showing that so you got used to what the HTML does, right? And I'm just going to close that down, and I'm now going to get rid of this item here. So what we now have, okay, is we have a toggle like that. Website proposal, 6th of August 2021. And I open it and I'm going to get asked to enter in the password, enter in the password and I have the proposal. And when I close it, it's gone. When I open it, you will then again return to the, oh, why is it not up here? There you go. Sorry. Just a bit of a delay there. But it now opens up because I've already entered in the password. So that's a really cool way of adding in lots of different items. 
You could have website proposal, you could have wireframe. This is another way of getting information back out to your customer. Stay with me on this, okay? Right, what I'm now going to do is add in a form. So I am going to type in form, like so, and I'm just gonna drop this in here. Um, bear in mind, you might wanna mess around with the layout now and you might wanna add in another section so it's not as wide, but you, yeah. Okay, look, let's just do another section, okay? Because I think I think it looks really, I hate it when you have a form which stretches the full width for no good reason. Okay, so 500 pixels for the boxed width and we're now gonna drop in a form. Now this form here, Okay, you can have name, email, phone number, you might put address in, whatever you want to do there. Okay, I'm going to add in an item here. And this item is going to be called acceptance. And this is where I'm going to put in my acceptance term. So you're going to say, you know, um, you accept the terms, the terms of and approve the contract. You know, I'm, I'm, not just, I'm just making this up, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in your terms. So the person to send this has to hit the accept button, okay? What you're then gonna do after that is add in another item. And this is gonna be an upload. So I'm gonna put file upload, okay, like so. And this is going to be called uh, signature. And again, term it, you know, please provide your signature or how you wanna do it. And it's gotta be, a all of these are required fields as well, don't forget, okay? Um, and then decide, you know, the, the, I would say allow whatever file type you want to allow. You know, don't forget though, please do do all the basic things you would do with a form of your styling, make it look good, make it fit your brand or whatever you're trying to promote here. But the idea is, is that your acceptance here, you accept the terms of the contract stated above, uh, you know, da -da 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 -da, whatever you want to put. So someone reading this, they're now happy with what they you've put they are now gonna send you back a form where they have where they have clicked this and signed it as well, okay? Because many, many times, um, like with accountants, um, they'll send you a form, say for your tax return, and they say either, either sign this and return it to us or just reply to the email and say you're happy with it, and that is fine. And as long as they are doing that, um, and you know, because don't forget, when, when you, this is sent to you, you will have the IP address as well of the sender and all of that you know, within the details of the email. So as long as they click that to accept, they've uh, uploaded their signature, so they could just scribble it wherever they want on a bit of paper, and then they could just upload it with a, on their, you know, take a photo with their phone and upload it wherever they want, you know, choose a file from their desktop or their document. That is totally fine. And what I'm just trying to get across to you is that, you could be using this multiple times. You could have another, I mean, you could take this entire form, stick it in a template, right? Get the short code for that template. And then within this toggle, add in another toggle, right? And then insert the, let me just shrink this one down, into the second toggle, you could put the short code for the form. So now you have website proposal, um, proposal um, uh, acceptance form, and you might have another toggle underneath, which is for wireframe or something else you need them to sign off and agree to. So if I just get rid of this, like so, and what you could instead do is you could have a pay, I mean, assuming you're using PayPal, you might not be using PayPal, you might be using a different way, but it might be that you then say, okay, you know, now pay your deposit and you've already pre-built it in. So you've already explained to them that, right, the price, for you to have this website built as $1.99, this wonderful offer. You've made it clear to them with labeling and whatnot. So they're happy, they accept, they pay the deposit or the 30%, 50% or whatever you want them to pay. Okay, and you could do that again. You could have a form and all of that. And at the end of the day, okay, this is a really dead simple way, I think, of adding a PDF, adding in a upload sign form without using any additional other plugins, okay? You know, there are plugins out there. There are solutions out there. There are coding and things you can do. There are some plugins and features where you gotta pay a monthly fee or how many times it's used. And if you've invested in Elemental Pro, which you should have by now, okay, sometimes you don't wanna overinvest in too many other things, especially when it's just a signing a form thing, okay? And what you would obviously want to do is um, when you've created this page, obviously, okay, you know, this is gonna be a page per customer. 
Okay, and it's up to you how long you keep it. Here you go, columns, right? So this would be for Mr. Column. This is your contract, your proposal, and this is how you sign and do your payments. It's quite a nifty way to do it, isn't it? If you keep it on a secure website, make sure your website is secure. Okay, go to quick edit, and I'm now gonna add in a password. And this password I'm gonna do like that. It's called red, okay? It's a rubbish password, but I'm just gonna call it red. Okay, right, so if we now, try to view this page, you can't get in until you enter in the word red. And then you'll now be into the page. And even though we're into the word page, yes, we can, see, again, this is why I'm saying having the form as a, within the toggle, as a, as a template within the toggle isn't a bad thing to do. You click on that, well, I can't see it. Uh. But yes, you can when you type in the password. There's the proposal and it's all scrollable. So I can go down and read the terms and what it's telling me. So I think this is a pretty neat way of adding in a embedding a PDF for free um, or creating the PDF password protected for free using the Adobe, um, adding in your form, adding in the ability to upload a signature with acceptance terms and any other fields you want to add in as well. You know, um, you might even say upload a scribble of your logo, maybe because you want them to give you some idea before you proceed. So it's a way of keeping things all in one place and still on your website using Elementor, no plugins and just a little bit of creativity. Hey, I hope you liked it. I hope you subscribe and I shall see you soon.